This podcast is relevant for you to listen to if you're going to be doing the SBR exam in September 23 or thereafter. And I want to tell you what the changes are to the exam and I want to tell you what you should be doing in that regard. So the change that's occurring from September 23 relates to the way that group accounts are going to be examined in question number one. It doesn't change the technical knowledge. It doesn't change the fact that you're going to have to produce numbers and you're going to have to explain those numbers. The change is around the presentation. The change is around the way that you will be presenting your answer. Because you will be given in the question a pre-populated spreadsheet response option containing a draft set of financial statements. So the question will contain a group balance sheet on a spreadsheet or a group P&L on a spreadsheet or a group cash flow on a spreadsheet already prepared. You are never, ever going to have to prepare a set of group accounts from scratch. But the group accounts you are being presented with will be wrong. They're in draft and you will be having additional information which will enable you to correct those draft financial statements. So, for example, imagine you're given a group balance sheet, but you're then told, oh, we haven't done the impairment review. So you're then going to have to calculate perhaps that impairment loss, yeah, by doing a sort of a cash generating unit and impairment review. And let's imagine that you calculate the impairment loss and it's 100 and it's an 80% sub and NCI has been measured at fair value. In revising the group accounts, you're going to be charging some of that impairment loss to the NCI. So goodwill will come down by 100. So you've got a, an, an adjustment column. You'll have an additional column alongside the draft balance sheet. And in that adjustment column, you can head it up goodwill impairment or whatever, and you can minus 100 against the goodwill figure. And then in the bottom half of the balance sheet, in equity, you can minus 80 against group retained earnings, and then you can minus 20 against the non-controlling interest. And therefore, you've revised the group balance sheet for the impairment loss, demonstrating your knowledge that NCI is charged. And you would then also have to explain this, yeah, in as, as also as part of your answer. So clearly there will be marks available for numbers, which will be based around consolidation adjustments. So, you know, there could be an acquisition of a sub that hasn't been recorded or a foreign sub that needs translating, whatever. But there's also an opportunity for the examiner to test any accounting standard. He can say there's a transaction which hasn't yet been recorded. Yeah, and because we know the examiner doesn't like to examine things in silos. He likes to kind of, you know, get that holistic approach. So there could be stuff on pensions or anything mixed up within these group accounts. But I repeat, it's not a change in the academic level. It's not a change in your study. It's a change in the way that the answer is being presented. And I think, therefore, there's two things that you need to consider in that. First of all, I don't think it has an impact. I don't think it should have an impact on whether you accelerate or delay your decision when to sit SBR. I don't think this makes the exam any easier or any more difficult. It's just slightly different. So if you're planning on June, stick with June. If you're planning on September, stick with September. If you're planning on December, I don't see that it makes a difference in terms of your timing. Secondly, though, if you are going for September or December, it is even more essential that you are being properly prepared, properly supported, with up-to-date material, with someone who can support you, mark your work, and, and it is, is, is 
up to date and on the money. All right. So, you know, it emphasizes the importance of using the practice platform. It emphasizes the importance of, you know, not just using pen and paper to answer your uh, to, to, to prepare for this examination. You know, the examiner has confirmed that this is that the working should be simple. It's not about um, complex formula. They're not trying to uh, examine your ability to manipulate a spreadsheet. They're trying to examine your understanding of preparation of group accounts. So this is only relevant if you're doing the exam SBR in September 23 or onwards. Um, it's essential that you get proper support. And of course, I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. So by all means, reach out to me. My materials, my courses, uh, my mock exams will reflect the way that things are being tested. So please, if you want support, if you want help, reach out to me. WhatsApp is one way of doing it. If you're in the UK, 07725 if you're overseas, plus four four seven seven two five three five zero seven nine three, and um, yeah, please like and subscribe this podcast. Yeah, follow me on YouTube, and if you want help, please just reach out. Thank you for listening.